Hi, my name is Atul and today we are going to talk about HTTP 3 and how it is different from other versions of the HTTP. HTTP started as a simple client and server communication protocol where client could only request the plain simple HTML document from the servers. It did not allow any post, port or any other kind of operations from client to the server. Later in 96, a more standardized version of the HTTP was introduced and that was called HTTP 1.0. HTTP 1.0 introduced the concept such as request headers and content type. With the help of request headers, clients now can request for different kind of content type other than the plain HTML documents such as images. This version solved the many problems associated with the previous version of the HTTP, but this version itself had a lot of problems. One of the major problems was each time client wants to communicate with the server, it has to open a new HTTP connection. Now imagine a scenario where you are talking to your friend over a phone call and each time you want to say something, you have to disconnect the phone and redial. This was the similar problem with HTTP 1.0. Client has to create a new connection with the server every time it has to send a request. This made the communication very slow, also resource, resource intensive because Opening a TCP connection every time is very resource intensive. One year after the release of HTTP 1.0, HTTP 1.1 was introduced and this solved the main problem which was associated with HTTP 1.0 with the help of Keep Alive request headers. With the help of Keep Alive, client could make create a persistent connection with the server and using the same connection they can send multiple requests. So instead of creating a new connection, they could use the same connection which was created with the server. HTTP 1.1 also introduced the concept of HTTP pipelining where clients could send the second request before waiting for the response of the first request to come back from the server. Now this again had problems, both client and server need to um, process the request and the response in the same order in which they were sent. Now this created a problem called head of line blocking problem. In head of line blocking problem, one request blocks the subsequent request. So for example, a client, if a client sends three requests and if the first request takes longer time to process by the servers, the next subsequent two requests would be blocked until the first request gets processed by the server. This again made the communication very slow and increased the latency. HTTP 2.0 solved the problem of head of line blocking by introducing the concept of multiplexing and stream. Over a single connection, client could open a multiple streams each associated with a single request and response. Messages sent by the client were divided into frames and each frame is associated with a stream based on the stream ID. Now frames of the second request can come before the frames of the first request but at the receiver's end since each frame is associated with a stream they can add up all the frames together to create to recreate the request and the response. So this solved the problem of head of line blocking at the application layer. But the problem still existed at the TCP layer due to the nature of how the TCP communicates the packet. At TCP layer, each packet must arrive in a correct sequence in which it was sent. So for example, there are three streams and one packet of one of the stream gets missing. Now the packets of the other streams arrive at the receiver's end but TCP would keep all those packets in the TCP buffer until the missing packets arrive. So even if the packet of one of the stream is missing, this gets this blocks the packets of the other streams. So this problem still existed at the TCP layer. Recently, HTTP 3.0 was introduced and this solved the problem of head of line blocking at the transport layer itself. Instead of using TCP, HTTP 3.0 uses a different protocol that is called QUIC. This protocol was developed by Google and it is based on UDP. QUIC natively supports the um, multiplexing at the transport layer itself. So it does the stream management and if one of the packet of one of the stream is missing, it does not block the packets of the other stream. So that way it solved the problem of head of line blocking at the transport layer itself. Setting up a connection with HTTP 3.0 is also faster than the HTTP 2.0. Since HTTP 3.0 uses QUIC protocol, which does not do a three-way handshake similar to the TCP protocol. So since QUIC is based on UDP, so there is just one single handshake that happens with client and server and within the same handshake all the encryption details such as encryption keys and other en encryption algorithm these are shared with between client and server and so that the communi the creation of the connection becomes faster also the connection that is set up is by default encrypted 
So this is the major difference between HTTP 3.0 and the other versions of the HTTP. So this is it for this video. If you learned something new, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.